Good morning, everybody. Good morning, happy Monday. Eric the Beaver, Hype, Calvos, Erdenshire. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you, Beaver? How are you? How's your slurping going? Good morning, 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 morning. It's morning, it's morning, morning, morning. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, it's delish. That's good to hear, my friend. That is wonderful to hear. I love to have some delicious slurping. What are you slurping on? Some coffee? Some protein shake? Some freshly squeezed orange juice? Some freshly squeezed apple juice? Some freshly squeezed onion juice? There's, there's no judgment here except for me and everybody in chat and anybody who watches this chat after the live stream. Those are the only people that will judge you based on your morning juice decisions. Oh my God, eggs sound so good. How do you want your eggs? Orenshire is taking egg orders right now. Good morning, Thumbface. How are you? Good morning, good morning. You're drinking the tears of your enemies that will only make you stronger. Egg, good morning. How would you like yourself? I was gonna make a really bad joke. Oh, I'll make it anyway. No, I won't. I'm not going to do it. Okay, I'm going to skip it. We'll start with about 10 eggs all scrambled together. I mean, I made bean queso dip at 0900 because the Texan. You need your bean queso dip. Do you like to you with, with, that, with your dip, Alan? Also, hello. Good morning, Alan. How are you? Uh, do you mix it in with stuff? Or do you just like eat, eat bean dip all the time? Or are you like mixing it with eggs or like putting on top of things? Or is it like an added ingredient you put into stuff? Scoops, <gasps> Fritos scoops, yes. Fritos are my favorite chip of all time. All time. Do you have a secret ingredient for your bean dip, or is it like just any bean dip will do? Beans. <laughs> the, the key is to put beans in the bean dip. Oh, son of a gun! I've been making bean dip wrong this whole time. I've been using jelly beans. It's been gross. I mean beans, and cheese, and some spices. Any secret spices? I've, I've been really, really into smoked paprika lately. Smoked paprika. I put it on eggs and all kinds of stuff. I'm, I'm really digging it. Is taco seasoning a secret? It can be. I mean, some people are like, I make my taco seasoning from scratch. Start with some cumin and some El Paso taco seasoning and some salt, and some pepper. Done. I have a friend that makes a bean dip for parties and we all love it. Then I learn that she put what she put in it. Oh, and you're going to share that in chat right now, yeah? One time, Tipsy's family was having a chili cook-off for a holiday party and uh, Tipsy forgot, so he went and bought chili from a restaurant and he ended up winning the chili cook-off and then had to admit to all of them that his was store-bought. It went, it, went, it went over well. A can of refried beets, okay. Salsa, okay. An entire slab of cream cheese. That's usually, <laughs> that's usually always what it is when someone's like, do you want to know what my, my secret ingredient is? Three sticks of butter. It's always something you don't want to hear. You're like, oh, beans, perfect. Salsa, I'm into it. And then an entire 32-ounce block of cream cheese. And you're like, ah, son of a bitch. So if you want to secret anything, just add way too much butter, yep, or lard, or cream cheese into it. You're like, wow, this pico de gallo is so fresh. What's your secret? Oh, I melted down a barrel of butter. That was my, that's my secret ingredient. Yeah, you're eating a barrel of butter right now. But it's tomato and onion and cilantro, little fresh salt and pepper, and then a whole gallon of, sometimes I use, I can't believe it's not butter, but it's not as good. That's like diet salsa and nobody wants diet salsa. I want my full fat, full calorie salsa. I don't think I'm alone on this, am I? <laughs> yeah, diet salsa. Who wants diet salsa? Nobody. Uh, tomato, onion, a jalapeno, and a can of Crisco. Just need a whole vat. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, Orenshire, you have my attention. Only because you typed it three times will I wait. <laughs> oh, here. 
Who are you here hasn't tried carbonated queso yet? Wait, what? Is that a real thing? Is that a real thing or are you pulling my third eye? A can of Crisco. Yeah. I've, I, I can honestly say I've never bought Crisco in my life. I don't know. Only because I don't know what I would do with it. I mean, you can carbonate anything with any of those soda shots. <laughs> you just put some queso in one of those, like, soda streams. So it better not back. Just better not rotate back to. Nope, we're not going back to Crisco fingers. And I don't think, um. Uh, Double O Tuba is in chat, so I think we're okay. <laughs> I think we're safe. Oh, it's totally okay, Reed. No, it's not. I'm just thinking up some very terrible <laughs> ideas. Okay, honestly, Crisco makes the best baked goods. Really? Okay. Don't need more of that. So if you're not into baking, don't buy. Yeah, I don't bake very often. I have to say, Power Big, thank you for that. Host, thank you, thank you, thank you. Can I get a shout out for Pow? Hello, 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 everybody, and good morning. The Dark Moon Shadow, how are you, my friend? Good morning. Yeah, we only buy Crisco around the holidays for cookies. Oh, what kind of cookies are we talking about? Chocolate chip? Huh? All of them. <laughs> Just which ones? All. Oh. It makes really flimsy gingerbread, man. I love a flimsy gingerbread, man. Tipsy returns, and so do I. It's good to see you this morning, my friend. It's good to see you, Pow. Good morning, good morning, good morning. If you guys aren't following Pow, Give him a follow. He's a member of the Shed team. A wonderful variety streamer on here. Daisy is here too. Oh my God. What is it, my birthday? We make we make ninja bread, man. Ooh. You teach them the secret ways of the samurai. Oh. I missed you guys too. It was a long, a long, hard week last week. But uh, we are back. We're doing salty today. We're back with this wonderful, beautiful background made by Mr. Sleek Mouse. So we're continuing through on the tastes. We're going on salt. That's right, we are on salt today. I'm trying to decide if I want to do two episodes this week or if I want to do two next week. I'm going to have to see how the rest of the week goes. But we still have spicy to do, and then we need to do sour bitter before we do next week. And I want to tell you guys now, next week we're doing pets. So dogs, cats, birds, reptiles, all that kind of stuff. So what we would like you to do, if you want to participate, take some footage of your pet and send it to Darkseid and he will put it into the intro video for next week. I mean, next month, I mean. So we want to include video footage of your pets for the intro. So take a, a good clip, like maybe like 10, 15 seconds. Maybe 20 seconds and set it to dark side so he has enough room to edit on either side. And he's going to put clips of our pets into the morning intro. So, yeah, if you think about that, I'll try to remind you guys all throughout the week to take footage of your pets. But take a little bit, send it to them. If you have different pets, you can send them as many clips as you want of different pets that you have. It doesn't have to, you don't, 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 feel, don't feel obligated to have to pick your favorite because we all know if you have a pet, you don't have a favorite. I mean, you totally have a favorite. Yes, you do. But we're not gonna say it out loud. But we totally have a favorite. That other one, he can be a little bit. He can be a little bit of pain sometimes. But that other one is a is a, is a complete angel. But send 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 both. Make them make them make them all feel special. Gonna film Reese's boob. I'm sure that'll make it into the final. I'm sure that'll make it into the final edit. Actually, it's dark side. It might actually make it into the final edit. Not to self. Hey Timmy, can you talk enough? Yeah, the talk about dark side. I need to talk to him about not including any of the. The pet's doing the, doing that thing. Okay, he's not gonna remind me to do that. All right, fine. What about my rock? If you have a pet rock, Sleek Mouse, I would, forget it, scrap it. Nobody send me anything. Sleek Mouse, send me a four minute video. It needs to be a live, live video. Don't just send me a picture. Four minutes of your pet rock. Just a still stagnant live video shot of your pet rock for four minutes. Don't send it, don't send it, it has to be live footage. Wait, 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 has Timmy ever had carbonated rock? This is not a thing, not everything is carbonated in Shire. You can't just, you can't just say everything is, is carbonated. Oh my gosh, Lacey and Finley, how are you? Good morning, Lacey. Good morning, good morning, Lacey. Good morning, morning, morning. How are you? How are you, how are you? Everybody give Lacey a follow, she's a wonderful a variety streamer on the platform. Oh, you're living the dream. 
live that dream. Live that quarantine inside only dream. <laughs> live it. We're all, we're all, we're all living that that toilet paper mountain face mask wearing dream. Are you telling me sugar rocks can't be carbonated? I present to you <laughs> pop rocks. God damn it, Erdenshire, you're right. Ah. Well, you can put pop rocks in the scrambled eggs. If you cook, if you cook pop rocks, do they do they pop? Is that a thing? I guess because they would be getting would they be getting wet at that point? Oh my god, I need to know this for science. Once you pop the fun, don't stop. Pringles, best chips ever. Never put enough flavoring on them, though. I've never bitten into a Pringle and been like, ah, yes, this has enough flavoring. I'm always like, no, I need to eat three of these at once so I can actually taste what the flavor says on the outside of the can. Am I alone on that? No. Pop rocks and scrambled eggs? That would cause an explosion. Film it. If you can't find Pop Rocks, may I suggest putting baking soda in your mouth and then taking a shot of vinegar? What? I've never done it, but let me know. Oh, is that how they would make... You know how in like every TV show in the 90s, they'd have like some sort of science fair and someone was making a volcano? Is that what they were doing? Were they filming it with baking soda and pouring vinegar into it? Is that how that works? I've never looked it up and no one ever actually made a volcano in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, uh, in, in, in real life. It was always a TV thing. But man, you're back, you're starting a TikTok? Go for it. Get that TikTok, explode that thing. Cause I guess I, I never really know like what your, what your science setup would be for a volcano. You'd be like, and this is how a volcano works. It's filled with baking soda. Nature pours in its vinegar and blah, blah. Ta-da, give me an A. I don't know what your thesis would be. Vinegar rain. Vinegar rain, vinegar rain. That's the B-side cut. Man, this channel gives out gold ideas. We're just, we're just in a gold mine. We're just sifting through and going, oh my God, it's gold again. Thank God, what do we have here? Oh my God, it's gold. Uh, what do we have here? Oh my God, it's gold. It's gold. Freaking gold. So off topic, but but is that fish exhaling air? It's the it, it's the it's the bubbler. You know, you need to like oxidize the water. Yeah, it just has a nice little filtration system. Isn't that right, fishy fish? Isn't that right, buddy? You know, we, I've never named the fish. I've had this fish for how long? Like a year and a year and a half. This thing's been here for so long. You don't even have a name. We've never named him. He does have a SpongeBob pineapple in there. Want to make sure you didn't have any air, any air breathing fish. Are those the ones you need to look out for? It's Fash the fish. It's Fish Bob. Fish Bob. Fash fish. Fin pants. Fish Bob fin pants. Fish Bob no pants. Wow, Gal Galvos. Is Rusty Panda around? Cause wow, wow. Wow. Yes, she is. Oh, they're not. <laughs> you got me. How are you, my friend? Good morning. Thank you. I'd name it dinner. You would eat. Pow. Pow. What do you think you're going to make with this tiny little? How full are you going to be eating this tiny little thing? I'm not, I'm not reading that. I, I can already see a, a trigger. I'm not reading that, Daisy. As soon as I saw that brick of text. I saw it. I saw it. I see Father Blah Blah right away. That's the first thing I spotted. There's no way I'm reading that out loud. Philadelphia the fish. Ooh, Philadelphia. Oh. I didn't say it. Just a fill, not enough for a fillet. It's just an A. But you got me. How are you, my friend? Good morning. Are you having cookies for breakfast? I know you are. Dipping cookies in your coffee, making sure it's mixed with creamer. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. I ate them all last night. But the question is, did you also bake them last night? When did you bake them and when did you finish them? No judgment except from me and you did. Wow. Do you make them to order? Are you like, do you have like a, I imagine you just have like a tub of, of cookie dough and you're just like, I'm gonna have four tonight. Heat up the oven to 375 and let's do this. 
Fresh cookies only. I almost had cookies for Brecky. Brecky, that doesn't count. Burton Shire. It's like I almost had a T-bone steak, but then I didn't. That doesn't that doesn't count. You got me, how do you like Animal Crossing? You got me, how do you like animal crackers? Animal crackers in my soup. Monkeys and lions loop de loop. What would happen if you ate cookie dough and then immediately sat in a sauna? Regret. But I also played drums for three hours before. Oh, are you trying? Are you trying? You had 12? I just saw that. Are you trying to justify? <laughs> You're like, I did cardio, so. <laughs> That's like, uh, my stomach is, my stomach is, my stomach is like out to here. But my arms, my arms are so freaking toned. <laughs> Have you ever tried standing and drumming? Get more of a full body workout? Put your put your drums up on stilts? <laughs> look, look, I eyed up a package of tiramisu Oreos on the table. Oh. I don't know, I've, we've talked about this before, but I've never really gotten into the flavors of Oreos. There's not a flavor where I'm like, oh yeah, that one. I finally installed it now that I have time to play. Oh, Animal Crossing, you're gonna get, you're gonna get sucked in. I did, I actually say it on stream while drumming. I set myself to be able to eat 12 cookies. And you're just playing like Slipknot for like three hours so you can make up for it. It's just the same song on a loop. <laughs> like, I really need to burn this off. I need to earn my 12 cookies. Sorry guys, no requests. And I heard, what's that? Play that same song again. So we're gonna play that same song again. Slipknot, here we go. <laughs> I actually used to be in a marching band in high school and college. Oh, someone was Nick Cannon from Drumline. That counts as st for standing and drumming. It totally does. I got the carrot cake Oreos because I miss carrot cake so bad. Yeah, and what happened? And carrot cake always comes with cream cheese frosting, which I can't eat anymore. Why? Because it's in your salsa. The, pe <laughs> the peanut butter Oreos changed my life. There are, there's a, my favorite peanut butter cookie, okay? I love peanut butter cookies. If you go to the store, there's a brand called Back to Nature, and they have these peanut butter cookies that, oh my God. If you do the Oreo thing with them, they look like Oreos, but they're peanut butter ones. And if you dip that in milk and you do the Oreo thing, oh my God. Oh my God. You like the chocolate cream Oreos? Is that what you wash down your cookies with? Oh, I think I finished my 12 cookies. I think I deserve a treat. Oh, hello, chocolate cream Oreos. Yes, I'm sure. What's the serving size? One sleeve? You got it. Don't want to go against doctor's orders. Mmm, yes. <laughs> no, I only have one or the other. I mean, I'm not a complete monster. It also depends on what phase the moon is in. If it's a full moon, then you're out of luck. All the cookies are gone. No one agrees with me, but the Oreo Thins are the best invention in years. I love the Oreo Thins, the mint ones. Put them in the freezer. Done. 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 Sunken Lemur, how are you? Welcome in. How are you? Good morning, good morning. It's like the perfect size cookie and not too much cream. Yeah, I, I, I think we talked about it. I think even like last episode or the episode before that. I can't do double stuff. As a kid, I was all about double stuff. Now, I think it's a sign of maturity. I think it's a sign of growing up. I'll just have some fruit? Can I get a timeout on Sleek Mouse for three years? Everyone who agrees, <laughs> everyone here agrees with me. What about mega stuff? Is that a thing? I am here from Adam Krutinger. Hey, good old Adam Krutinger. Yes, welcome in. Welcome, Adam is such a great guy. If you guys are looking for like really cool puppet content, if you're like, I love puppet stuff, <laughs> check out Adam Krutinger. It's the spelling of his name is in the chat right there, Adam Krutinger. He does a lot of puppet tutorials, like puppet building things and puppet techniques and all kinds of stuff. So you can see how puppets are built. He does a lot of live streams and stuff like that. So check him out. You made one of his puppets? Oh, cool, what did you make? I wanna know what you made. Yeah, Sleek Mouse, what kind of fruit? Great, wait, why you, wait, hold on. There's nothing wrong with grapefruit. There's nothing wrong with grapefruit. What? Daisy. I will say this though. Grapefruit is totally, totally a morning fruit. I can't, 
I can't I can't do afternoon. I can do grapefruit juice, but I can't I can't crack open a grapefruit in the afternoon. I don't know what is it what it is about it. I can't do it. It's a it's a morning fruit. If you're not eating it before 8 a.m., I'm not I'm not eating that fruit. And most days I don't get up before 8 a.m. I need to email. Why do I never have enough time? Ignore them. Put them all to spam. And then go, oh, I didn't get that one. I must end up. Oh, I found it. It's in my spam file. I found it. That's how you add time to any any email situation. Fruity Pebbles counts as a fruit, right? Yes, it does. Good morning. Doofy, how are you? But you're spelling it wrong. I think it's F-R-O-O-T-Y. That's, the, that's how you know it's 100% fruit. I bet you eat grapefruit with a mason jar with water filled cucumbers dumple? I totally do. I'm totally into fruit infusions. You just, you just, what I do, what I do, jar of water, throw some fruit in there, drink it, fill it back up, put it in the fridge, and then the next time I go to drink water, I have fruit infused water. I know, I'm bougie. When you live the lavish lifestyle like I do, there's, 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 there's no end in sight to the, 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 the luxurious lifestyle, life choices you go through. Wait, but who here drinks Spam? What? No, wait, I can't. That's way too gross. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, might as well just drink salt water at that point. Also, Shroomy, thank you for that, host. I appreciate it. Group of grapefruit sales, citrus in general, have skyrocketed in the COVID time. Yeah. A lot of people have still having a hard time, like, finding just, just like, fruit in general. Hey, how are you, Shroomy? Hello, Shroomy. Welcome into the chat. Hope you're having a chip chip cheerio. Good time. Over there in London, time, England. I'm trying. I'm trying, Shroomy. Landa! <laughs> Over there in London. If you guys aren't following Shroomy, give her a follow. Another great variety streamer on here. <laughs> and a member of the Variety Fact stream team. At least, at least you can watch this from bed. Dark side, how are you, my friend? Anyone exhausted and curled up in a ball now after walking to the bathroom? No, just me. I think it. It might, it might, it might be. I just told them, Dark Side, that they need to take, um, while, while there's more people here next month, we're doing pets, and we want to feature your pets for the intro video. So take, take a clip, like a 20 second clip or so of your, of your pet and send it to Dark Side. So he can start rounding up clips of your pets for next month. I always loving talking to people that stream. Well, welcome in, you found the right, you're in the right place. Send it with a name too, yeah. Yeah, you can see, yeah, send your pet's name. So let's give him, send him a video and the name of your pet so he can start doing doing all of that fun stuff. Yeah, I always love talking to people at the stream. Well, you're gonna be in a great place. Every Monday morning, we do a morning talk show just like this. Every month, we pick a different theme. This week, it's taste, or this month, I'm sorry, it's taste. And this week, we're covering salty. So that is our, that is our sub theme within the theme for this month. And next week, we're and next week. Why do I keep saying week when I want to say month? Next month, month. We're doing pets. So send us footage of your pets. This place is fire. This place is, oh, sorry. This place is, Timmy. There we go. This place is fire. Yes, yes, fire. Isn't that right? Cowboy Brennan Frazier. Yup. Thank you. He's always there to back me up. Salty gifts? I am worried. <laughs> After some sweet gifts, not sure what to be scared about the salty ones or hopeful. Yeah, the if you guys want to see past episodes of Hello and Good Morning, they're on YouTube. Last time we did sweet, and the gifts were a little, a little ridiculous, I must say. They were a little, they got a little out of hand with the, <laughs> with the sweet. But next, next, next episode, and I'm gonna keep you guys updated of whether I'm gonna do it later this week or if I'm gonna do it next week is uh, is spicy. So send me gifts as, 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 as quickly as you can or, or, or sooner than later for spicy. If you guys are trying to figure out what to do this week and you're like, I'm bored, what can I do? Send me spicy gifts, send them to me as a private message in the Discord so I can throw them all into a folder and we can share them at the end of the episode. It's gonna be spicy. Oh, a few too many chocolate baths. How many, but to be honest, be honest with me, how many people in chat Took a chocolate bath between last episode and this episode. I don't have any money to donate, but I would. Well, that's the thing. I appreciate the, the thoughts, Uncle Lemur. I don't expect anybody to donate. 
You're you're welcome to hang out. But thank you for that that sentiment. There's no there's no pressure for anybody to donate anything. Semi spicy gifts in my DMs is something I say to everyone. <laughs> That's just an everyday thing. No chocolate, but plenty of brine. I used powder and added orange soda. What? What? On, what? What? Where? 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 where, where wait, wait, hold on. I think I lost my train of thought. Where that? What? Wait, what? Sounds like Tang. Ooh. Oh, fizzy chocolate bath. Who likes orange chocolate? Oh my God. I totally forgot about. Remember, they, I'm, my brain is moving faster than my mouth. Those those chocolate oranges. We have to like smack them against the counter to get them to split. Oh. Oh my God. I want one now. Oh. Throw one of those in the bath. And just put on the hot water. <laughs> you can live inside one with your chocolate bath with orange soda. That's true. I think they still exist. Do you like caramel and sea salt candy bars? Yes. Do I also like breathing fresh air and holding a fresh baby puppy? Yes. I bought like 50 when I was in London. But then you probably stole Shroomy. Shroomy probably has one every morning for breakfast. I just got some for Bracky. <laughs> I stole me morning off with a chocolate orange. <laughs> fresh baby puppies are kind of slimy. It's gotta be. It's gotta be fresh. Do not. Do not rinse that puppy off. Just. Just. Just hand it to me. Just. <laughs> the wetter, the better. If I touch a dry dog, I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm so mad. Like, why is this dog? Why is this dog dry? Excuse me. Do you have any? Do you have any freshly born puppies? Do you have anything fresher? You're like you're like surrounded by puppies. And you're like this is this is nice, yes. But do you have anything fresher? <laughs> like, what do they? What do you mean? What do you mean? Like checking a supermarket for fruit, picking up the dog and being like, that's too dry. That's. <laughs> That's too dry. Oh, 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 yep. This one, this one I'll take. <laughs> this one's ripe. Sniff the puppy. <laughs> Got anything riper? <laughs> Just. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, this one will do. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's get out. Let's get out of there. Proper amount of moist. <laughs> Gross. Sir, you have to pay for that. <laughs> just, I'll, I'll Venmo you. Just send me your, just send me your Venmo, your Cash App or whatever. I'll be back. I'm like that's, that's it. All right, let's say we transition into. We do have some segments to get through this morning, just like always. So we're gonna transition into the question of the day. Timmy, can you take me over there? Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. It's more like the deli. Take a number, and then it pops out. <laughs> Call your number. Who's got number seven? Your order's ready. There you go. Have a great day. Bye bye. So we do have our question of the day. We need to do to, to do we need to do for the week. So what I do is we record these now and then I try to post them on Wednesday on Twitter, so we can get some you know community stuff going on and spread the word and have a fun question of the day. So question of the day for the week. Yep. That's how. I didn't really think that out. It used to be a question of the day. <laughs> QDOTFTW. The quad de futois. It's French. The quad de futois. The quad. We need to walk on the quad de futois. So, what we're going to do is, and then I post this on Wednesday. Uh, so, we used to do this segment every day of the week. That was, that was so much work. When I think about doing this segment four and five times a week, oh my God. What are, this, are you doing? What is it? Um, what's that old TV show? All in the Family. Those were the days, and you know when you were there. Guys were guys and men were men. <laughs> Your YouTube channel deserves more subscribers. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, if you guys can find all the old episodes of Hello and Good Morning on the on the YouTube, and old episodes of Sunday Funday Monday, and Stroking Together with Tipsy Ross, and Tuesday, and all the different streams we do on here. Question of the day for the wetness? Oh, gross. What? No. No. 
Question of the day, how fresh is your puppy? Well, actually we have, I do like that question, but we do have our image from Sleek Mouse. Let me lower this music a little bit. So what we started doing like a couple months ago was adding a graphic from Mr. Sleek Mouse who does the, the background work for, uh, for the themes each month. He started sending me a weekly image. And this week he has sent me, drum roll please. Look at that! Look at that! Oh! 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 I love this one so much! The Dumple Birds! The Angry Dumples! The Angry Pings! It's my spirit! <laughs> Finally, we found Daisy in animal form! This is, this is her! It's got the Daisy expression and everything! <laughs> so, I know I love this one so much! So what I want to try to do is incorporate his image into the question of the day. So we could do, God, I love this one so much. Uh, we could <laughs> do, the branch is part of the animal. It's just another leg. He, he's taking it somewhere. He has somewhere to be. He's like, I have plans for you, stick. I'm going to make some s'mores, mother trucker. Let's go. That was me flying. This is, <laughs> this is. Look at that. How good is my pantomiming? This is me flying, holding a stick. What am I? What, what is this? What is this? Look like I'm on like a conveyor belt. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, would you rather have a bird poop on your head every day or just once in your mouth? Oh, dear God. If you had a bird on your shoulder that repeated everything you said but always brought you really good luck, would you do it? Oh. Panda is always like locking down premium questions he's like you you need you need a question i got you brilliance send done i thought you were filming from the airport yeah i'm just like when you get on those um those those people movers and you walk on them and you feel like you're like a robotic <laughs> you're like a centurion man you're like i got this you like start moving at like four times the speed, but then the transition out of it is always awkward. You're like, four times the speed, okay, time to get off this thing. Oh God, what happened? I just lost all the time I gained by walking quickly. I'm faster than Usain Bolt today. Usain Bolt. Ooh, PlayStation or Xbox? That's a good question. I'm all I'm all about the I like the Xbox life. Don't run on those. <laughs> Shit in the airport. Are those links like mouse or are those two completely different things? Don't run on those. <laughs> Period. And then I ate shit at the airport. <laughs> You're like, wow, that's that's a lot to take in. Those are two completely different thoughts. I would like to hear more about the second one. <laughs> I think my puns are pretty fly. That's not what emus. I wait, I see you're not emused. Oh my god. I see I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Not emusing. I will just be leaving. Where where's where's where where's where's um uh, seismic harbor when you need him? Where is he? We're setting him up! We're setting him up! Sorry for being awkward. <laughs> that doesn't count too for you can't just yell tit. You can't just yell it. Yeah, can I get some can I get a foghorn in chat just to make up for all the puns that just happened? Thank you. Just one solid foghorn. We had a foghorn on Discord, by the way. I thought of that yesterday. Can I do that? Can can you can you make audio clips? Can you do the can you make like a Discord soundboard? So if someone types in foghorn, everyone's phone goes off and goes brr. Or are you just talking about like an emoji? A foghorn emoji would be great. I was thinking of a reaction emoji. Oh, that would be foul play. Oh my God. Okay, so the question of the day, uh, Panda, I already forgot what yours was. I liked it, but <laughs> it's gone. It, it, it scrolled up the chat and now I don't remember what it was anymore. It was, if, if you had a bird on your shoulder, that repeated everything you said, but brings you good luck. Would you do it? Right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. 
So yeah, Sunken Lemur, I have some sound clips on here for commands and stuff. Uh, some of them are only for the mods. Foghorn is only a mod command. But if you do uh, like exclamation point laugh, or um, I'm trying to think of like, what are the other ones are? Uh, exclamation, part, exclamation point butch. Yeah, that'll make that's that's the cat meow. So there are a few. There's a gree hoopla that <laughs> makes a fart noise. So yeah, <laughs> there we go. See, yeah. <laughs> so so we have we have a few in there. That'll get you. Oh, we're just gonna. I see what's happening here. We're just gonna roll through. Okay, see uh, you later, yep, pal. Yep, this is all the. These are all the commands that uh, we have. Yeah, there's a there's a bell. I'll just sit here and I'll just sit here and wait. It's just me and you, bird. All these commands are for the birds. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> oh yeah, I have. I took away. Uh, I need to take that one away. I, I got rid of the. Uh, I even figured out what I was gonna do with the currency, so I took it away. But I forgot to take away the command. <laughs> So nobody has. <laughs> there's no. There's nothing there right now. I have a, such, a, such a difficult time getting off. That's <laughs> gonna your voice like eat shit. That needs to be a quote. <laughs> I ate shit at the airport. <laughs> Sleek mouse. Wow. Quote before Leech changed her name. That's old. I know, right? That's a. That's an old quote. That's all the way from April of last year. All by myself, don't wanna be all by myself anymore. All right, so let's get this question of the day going. We went away from quotes to so sad. They've, they've started coming back slowly. Uh, if you had a bird on your shoulder that repeated everything you said but always brought you good luck, would you do it? Thank you, thank you. That'll be our question of the day. Let me, um, bird, I need you to... To hide for now. Okay, here we go. We're gonna record the question of the day, people. Let's get this thing rolling. <coughs> yeah, no, no commands during the session, please. We're gonna, so no, no, no noises. Here we go. Please hold on, noises. We're filming this live, people, to post later. Oh, yeah, I gotta kill the chat. I'm sorry, but you guys are dead to me. I'm sorry, you're dead to me. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye, Alan. Here we go. Oh, let's get ready. It's time for the question of the day. Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. I'm Dampleping from Hello and Good Morning on Mixer. And here is your question of the day. Hmm. If you had a bird on your shoulder that repeated everything you said, but always brought you good luck, would you do it? Let me know in the comments below. Like, comment, follow, subscribe, resubscribe, unsubscribe, follow, comment, like again, follow, unfollow, delete your account, do all of those things, and we will get you. I don't, we didn't pick anything to get them. I didn't. I didn't. We didn't think of any chat. We forgot part. We forgot part. Hold on. Let's, oh, let's talk it out. <laughs> we'll grab you something from the gift shop. <laughs> grab something from the gift shop on the way out, people. It's over. If you had a bird on your shoulder, ooh, we'll get you a, no, we'll get you a chocolate orange. I missed the whole thing because Mixer froze on me. Well, you didn't miss much, Lacia, because we didn't think of anything to give them if they got if they did all the things. I would have just said, we forgot to get anything. Uncomfortable silence, bye. I did that one a couple weeks ago, Alan, so I can't. It's too soon to repeat that joke. A chocolate orange from the airport gift shop. But you have to buy it yourself. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. I'm not. Okay, here we go. Just wing it. God, no, get out of here. All right, sorry, chat. You're dead to me again. I brought you back to life, but you're dead. No. Oh. Sleek Mouse branded airport chocolate. Nope, I know what he eats at the airport. It's time for the question. Oh, hello, 
saw that. I didn't see you. I'm Dompleping from Hello and Good Morning on Mixer. And here is your question of the day. Mm. If you had a bird on your shoulder that repeated everything you said, but always brought you really good luck, would you do it? Would you do it? Would you do it? Would you do it? That's me being the bird. Like, comment, follow, subscribe, unsubscribe, resubscribe. Do all of the things, and we will get you a chocolate orange from the airport gift shop that you get to buy yourself and go get. You got it. I'm not paying for Grubhub. I'm not doing it. We'll see you next time. Bye. That All right, people, we totally did it. There it is. You beating the bird, it looks like the bird <laughs> is beating you. Also, hi, Pyro. I don't know if I said hello to you, but hello. Good morning. How are you? How are you? How are you? Man, that question of the day gave me goosebumps. What the duck? <laughs> wear a mask. Oh, yeah, if you're going to the airport, wear a mask. Daisy, you are killing me. You're killing Panda. We don't know if it's in a good way or a bad way, but you're killing, you're killing Panda. Hello, I'm all right. Well, good. Glad to hear you're doing all right. Thanks for all you do for everyone. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, we're going to move things along. We are a little bit behind on, on pushing through the things for the day. So we got a little, we got, we got really into the conversation this morning. Usually the stream's only an hour, and I'm already like <laughs> 20 minutes behind on schedule. I mean, I, I missed you guys too, so we, <laughs> we're doing great. We're doing great. No, no, don't worry about a thing. We're doing great. Okay, so we're going to go into uh, the Dapple Duel. We do have a question. Question today, would you rather lick a public toilet seat or no caramel sea salt candy bars? Oh. I, do. <laughs> I think I'd rather lick the public toilet seat. The party. We've been chatty today. It's okay. We missed you. Oh, yeah, I missed you guys too. I'm just, I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> I didn't realize it's already been 50 minutes and we only did the question of the day. That's uh, pretty far behind. I could do with a caramel sea salt candy bars personally. This contact just beaked. It's a, spe it's a special two hour episode. We're doing salty and spicy this morning, people. Look out. Okay, so uh, we do have a response from Captain e -Rock from last time. And we are going to um, send him a new Would You Rather question. If you're new here, we're doing a Dample Duel. So I, I challenge a streamer to a back and forth of Would You Rathers. And they have to respond to me in a certain amount of time in video form. And we go back and forth. And if they hit different milestones, I send them different things. Our last winner is in the chat right now. Miss Daisy Days was a champion. She made it through 25 back and forths to win. And right now... We're doing Captain e -Rock, and I forgot to check to see which one this is. I think it's, I think it's number five for, for e -Rock? Yeah, I think, I think it's five. So she gets, she's getting a t-shirt. I felt like I, I feel like I am owed a logo, a champion logo. You are, you're totally, I need to send that to you. I need to send that to you. That needs to happen. That's going to happen. Remind me. I can totally do it right now. Like, not like right now. But remind me so that after chat, I set it up so that I send that to you. I need to set that up. Get that up. Get that, that, get, get that thing to you. She, she won a t-shirt that says that she's a Dumple Duel champion. If you look in the store, I think in the store right now, there's a Dumple Duel merch in the merch store, I think. And she won one that also says Dumple Duel and, and champion on it. So I need to send that to her. So that she can, she wants to get a t-shirt so she can wear that wonderful, wonderful logo and show the world that she was a champ. What a champ! I know, am I right? All right, so what do you say? We check out our response from Captain e -Rock from last time. Here's what Mr. e -Rock sent as a response to my last question. The e rock response again. The coming in really hot. Not cold! Oh, you double ping it as I, Captain e rock mm -hmm. Welcome to the e rock response. Oh, oh what? Uh, you asked us, would you rather have your skin turn bright red every time you're embarrassed or mm -hmm. 
have blue plaid skin all of the time? Mm -hmm. How about no? Ooh. Ooh wee. I'm trying to work here. Holy crap, look how red he is. <laughs> Violet, you're turning Violet, Violet. He has a sound clip of him. <laughs> Ooh. In chat, being embarrassed while he's unexpected. streaming. Oh my Holy god. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we wouldn't want that at all. We wouldn't we want that at all. We would choose plaid. Okay. We would be plaid all the time. And Dumple Ping, yes. our question to you. Okay. Would you rather be able to fly, but confined to being only five feet away from any surface? Okay. Or mm -hmm. the ability to teleport anywhere, but you can't bring any clothes or possessions? Let us know in the way that you do this in video form back to us at the time that you do it. Then we will listen to that. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love the production value of who he puts behind his things. The production value of his responses are so good. It's like watching a street <laughs> quarantine movie for twenty dollars to rent. I love. It. I know he puts so much work into it. He he does a different intro video or different intro song for every video. So far, he's done it. Yeah, it's amazing. And if you go on YouTube, there is a playlist set up where you can see my question to him, his response, question, his response. We're setting it up on YouTube so we have playlists on each other's channels that has them all in a row as you go along. And they're they're super impressive, so you can check those out there. And also, Captain E-Rock is a wonderful variety streamer on the platform if you're not following him and you're looking for some variety on the platform. His his streams never, never, never let me down. I always laugh. I always laugh when I hang out. He has, a, he, he has a great time. And so do we. So let's, um, I have my response ready. Uh, Sunken Lemur, if you would like to, um, if you're, if, I don't know if you're a Discord user, but if you want to join the Discord, if you want to put, I need to make a channel for Would You Rather so people can can submit some Would You Rathers for me. And I can put those in there. You start using like user submitted Would You Rathers. But uh, right now, if you put that in maybe like the suggestion channel, then I can then I can start like rounding those up the way that I need to, to, to uh, get those all organized. All right, so here we go. I have a nice response ready. Oh, I think it's time to bring the, <laughs> I read it as a time to bring the broom. Because we gotta sweep this place up. It's dirty as crap. Bring the broom. We got the cars. The cars that go broom. All right. So I have a I have a question ready for him. We are now going to do uh, the response again. Please no no sound effects during this time as we are recording this live and this is going to be it. Just remember, your pelican, not pelican. Really. Oh, that's a good one. I like that one, Lemur. I like that one. I like that one. I have I have one ready though. I have one ready for this week. I try, I try to set up my 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 would you rather's a little bit ahead of time so that they can look pretty visually good. Here, I'll show you. We'll, we're gonna show you what one looks like. Here we go, people. I'm gonna kill the chat. I'm sorry, guys. You guys are dead to me again. Goodbye. Here we go. Roll the roll the intro, Timmy. All right, hello there, Captain Iraq, and welcome to the the the, the, the Dumbledore. Now, before I ask you a new question, I must answer yours. And you ask me, would you rather be able to fly anywhere but be five feet away from any surface, or or have the ability to teleport anywhere but you can't take your clothes or anything with you? <laughs> <laughs> you fool! You think I wouldn't take the ability to teleport anywhere without taking anything or any clothes with me? <laughs> I'm already not wearing clothes. What am I gonna? What am I gonna not? What am I gonna not take with me? What am, what am I? I mean, come on! Oh my God! I just realized I'm not wearing any clothes. And now, the Captain E Rock. Here is my question for you. Would you rather, would you rather, how, 
uh, well, would you rather have the ability to teleport anywhere? Okay, you can go anywhere, anywhere you want in the world. I'm going to give you that same option. Or, or never have to pay for food at a restaurant again. Which one? Teleport anywhere in the world, anytime you want. Or never pay for food at a restaurant again. Let me know your response in video form by Friday at midnight. And I will see you next time on the da 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 Is there something, <laughs> something, something wrong, Daisy? Something you didn't, like, you didn't like the questions I gave you during our back and forths. You didn't, uh, you didn't care for my questions, very <laughs> I thought they were good. I thought they were formulated pretty well, pretty well. What would you guys choose? Would you want to teleport anywhere, or never have to pay for food again? You'd pick the food. I think I think I would pick teleport. You go info. I teleport. I can make so much money. <laughs> teleport. Uh, wait. Well, how would you? Well, I need to know your plan, Toofy. What would be your plan? How would you? Where would your money be coming from? Give us give us a quick rundown. Give me like a give me like a one one to two sentence description of how you would make your money teleporting. Delivery. You would you would you would use your power to be an Amazon Prime delivery driver. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> that sounds terrible. What what would I, what would I do? I would immediately enter the system as a worker. <laughs> I can go anywhere I want in the world at any time. What am I gonna do? Make myself <laughs> a catalyst for instant gratification for people. <laughs> Be a tool. <laughs> what? I teleport into bank. Well, there we go. See, Toby. Now that now you're thinking. <laughs> What would I do? I'd go join UPS. <laughs> would you rather move to a city or town every week or never be able to leave the city or town you were born in? There we go. See, th those are some good ones. Those are some good ones. I would teleport and say, treat yourself every time and eat the food I want. I will be broke but full. <laughs> so you, you teleport into restaurants and eat people's food in front of them? Is that what? Is that how I'm reading that? I become a law-abiding citizen who does no wrong. Boo! <laughs> Boo! I think that's what you said, Dom. I, that's how that's how I interpreted it. All right, people, we're gonna kick things off. We have some advice to get to. We're gonna kick things off to Snickle for Snickle says he's gonna give us some wonderful advice. If you guys have questions for Snickle Fritz and you need some advice in your life, Send it to him and he will give you a response. So let's check, kick things over to him and see what's going on in the world of advice today. Let's uh, kill this music. Hey, Timmy, can you send us over to Snickle Says? And we will get that thing rolling. I said, uh, hey there, Snickle, what do you say? I need your advice in a real big way. Give me that love, give me that work, give me that every day. Let's all hear what Snickle has to say. I say it's time. It's time for Snickle Says. That's right. And his advice is so hot. You may need to take your shirt off. Oh, yeah. Hello there, all you beautiful people, and welcome to Snickle Says, the hottest advice on the internet. Let's check to see who needs some advice today. Let me check my handy dandy computer. Oh, here we go. Here's a beautiful one. Well, hello there, Snickle. That's me. I've got some tr something troubling me as of late. Oh, no. Summer is here. All the birds are back in the yard, but I, but I don't have that summer bod that I was hoping for. Would you happen to know of a high-calorie burning exercise? I feel all the eyes of the birds just looking at my tummy and thinking, what a fat POS I am. Please help. Well, well, well. Well, 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 Mr. Gordo. Gordo's back, who, who sent in this one. I have the perfect routine for you. First of all, I'm not sure why you're trying to attract the attention of birds. 
but maybe you are a bird yourself. That is the only thing that I can, uh, that's, the only, that's the only assumption I can make. So here is what I'm thinking. Have you thought about killing two birds with one stone? Have you thought about trying to gain the attraction of other birds while also burning fat at the same time? That's right, I'm talking ritual dances. Have you tried the ritual dance like you see here? Now the key is you need to do it constantly. Because if you're not constantly doing a mating dance, for every mating dance you don't do, that is an opportunity missed. So if you're just doing it constantly and all of the time, not only are you attracting the, the attention of the other birds, but you're also burning off those calories you don't want and getting that hot body you're looking for. So there is my wonderful advice for you. I hope you take it. And good luck with all of this. Actually, it's kind of working on me. Snickle, what did you say? I got your advice in a real big way. You gave me that love, you gave me that work, you gave me that every day. We all heard what Snickle had to say. This was Snickle. This was Snickle says. All right. And his advice was so hot. He made a volcano feel like an igloo. Oh, yeah. All right. There we are. Oh, I have something in my eyeball. Ugh. There we go. All right, people, we are back. That was some wonderful advice with Mr. Mr. Snickle. Like I said, if you guys have questions for Snickle Fritz that you need to... Oh, now it's stuck to my hand. Oh, there we go. If you have questions that you need, you need some advice for... It's still on my hand. Now it's in my... There we go. Let's just roll it up into a little ball. Uh, uh, ah, this is the stream. This is the stream now. Now it's on this hand. What am I, a magician now? Is it in this hand or that hand? It's still in this hand. Let me get this thing out of here. There we go. I'm going to go play some PlayStation. Probably Doom Eternal. Have fun. Thanks for hanging out, Lemur. I appreciate you hanging out. We're going to wrap things up now with our gifts of the week. Like I said, the theme for today is salty. So we're going to go ahead and show those gifts of what people have sent in next week. Now I'm going to say, just send me some spicy ones. I might do another episode this week. So send me some gifts based on spicy. Lady Wani, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. We're getting into the gift section. You're here just in time for gifts based on salty. So here we go. What do we got? Oh, break it down, break it down now. Oh, 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 break it down, break it down, break it down now. Oh, yeah. Ooh la la, it's good to see you too, Lady Wani. This is my hello, Lady Wani. Good morning, dance. How are you, my friend? Good morning, good morning. So there we are, a wonderful, wonderful salt dance. Shake it off, shake it off now. What else we have here? Oh, the salty spittoon. Mr. SpongeBob SquarePants has made, uh, has made an appearance. Gotta get in there for the salty spittoon. Yes. What else we got? Oh, hey, is it just me or does that look like John Oliver? He's got the, he's got, he's got some John Oliver vibes going on. That's uh, that's a, that's a lot of salt to be pouring on your head. Salty, salty. What is this salty discharge? <laughs> this one was sent in by Gordo, so you can you can blame him for this one. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I've never cried before. What, what is this salty discharge? I hate that word. Discharge is one of my least, it's one of my least favorite words. It's so gross. Oh, new salty flavored Tic Tacs. I don't know if this is real or not. I meant to look up to see if this was an actual thing that they did. But you want some? You want a mouthful of salt? You want You want some? You want some? Some salt? Actually, mint and salt. I don't know. I'm kind of intrigued. I don't think, I don't know if it would, I don't know if I would like that or not. That's an honest, that's an honest thought. Like, I don't, I'm kind of intrigued by that. Made for horses. <laughs> you want to, you want to clear up your, your horse's breath and give them a treat. Salty Tic Tacs. Mmm, -hmm, a little salty. Just put, uh, 
They just put road salt in a Tic Tac container. They just condensed it down. That's the kind of shit you give your kids when they won't stop asking for candy. Here, put out your hand. There we go. It's like, it would be like, um, Bert, was that Bert, Bertie, what are those, what are those, those jelly beans you can, you buy and you don't know what flavor it is until you eat it? It'd be like giving, <laughs> giving them one of those. This could freshen your breath. It could ruin your day. Bernie Bots. Yeah, we got a Bernie Bots, every flavored bean or something like that. I'm also a bad mom, so don't take advice from me. <laughs> I didn't say that. I, that's not my, her words, not mine. There we go. Oh, yeah. This, this looks like a, some challenge that someone would do in 2020. The how much salt can you put on your tongue challenge? That's, oh, I feel like I can feel that. Like, I don't even have to try it. Like, I can feel feel like oh I oh, oh that's an uncomfortable feeling buy a huge bag of jelly beans from the dollar store they all taste like paper <laughs> save it save your money <laughs> this one's paper flavored this one's plastic flavored I could totally feel that the cringe of the guy pouring yeah he's like oh that much salt is pushing it health wise there we go thank you Dr. Galvos spoiler alert he has a Tide Pod under his tongue <laughs> it's the ultimate <laughs> it's the ultimate have you guys tried that? Have you guys, did you guys ever do the cinnamon challenge growing up where someone tried to get you to eat a spoonful of cinnamon for like 20 bucks and it like immediately like dried out your mouth? It's like you're just, it's like, it's like all of a sudden your mouth becomes a desert like instantly. It's pretty, it's pretty gross. But yeah, we have some Powerpuff Girls going on. Gotta love the Powerpuff Girls. Who was your favorite Powerpuff Girl? Blossom, Buttercup, or Bubbles? It was your favorite. Bobbles? Bubbles by far. Blossom? Oh, see, I like I like bub I like Buttercup. I did a tipsy shot of pilot with Bubbles. With Tara Strong, who did the voice of Bubbles. Sugar spice and everything nice. These were the ingredients chosen to create the perfect little girls. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we, we were talking to her, like it was around the time where they were rebooting the Powerpuff Girls. And they didn't ask the original three to come back and do the voices at all. That wasn't even on the table. That's what we were talking about. She's like, we they were they were rebooting it and they didn't even approach us and ask us if we wanted to do it. They just recast the Powerpuff Girls. And you're like, what? Didn't even ask them? Because all three of them were like, we totally would have come back. They just didn't ask us. We weren't, we were not approached about coming back and doing another Powerpuff Girls series. But the salt is right there in the gift. Yeah. The salt was there. He was pouring in a box of salt. I guess that was the spice. <laughs> Sugar and the spice was salt. Oh, what a crazy spice. There we go. Just a little bit more salt. That's all you need. I love this series. Futurama. Oh, my God. I love this series. And when um, there was one time that Tipsy was working on the WB lot out in California and they were they had a they had a sound stage labeled something completely random and Tipsy was on his lunch break so he wandered into the sound stage and it was the whole cast doing a table read because they were getting to ready to reboot future well not like reboot it but bring Futurama back because I think Cartoon Network or something picked it up for like a season but he walked in and the whole cast was sitting around tables and reading an episode. And he was like, it, the outside of the building was not labeled Futurama. It was given like another name of something that didn't exist. And I uh, wandered in anyway to see what was going on. And there was the whole cast sitting there reading. That was, uh, that was a pretty cool moment. I, but I love, I love this show. This is my favorite. I wasn't, a, not a big fan of like The Simpsons or anything like that. The, the other series that they've done. But Futurama, I was like, that's that's where the gold is. Futurama was gold. It was Historama. <laughs> oh, here's one for the for the mods in chat. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. This one's for you guys. <laughs> there you go. We found this one. It's like we gotta I gotta include this one. This one, uh, that one's for all the mods. Oh, here's someone who's salty. I thought this one was pretty clever. Someone sent in Faruka Salt. And I was like, ah, ah, that was good. That was me this morning for my fruit comment. 
You gotta, you gotta watch. Just go, just watch your diet at the airport, Sleek Mouse. It's like it's, you gotta watch that too. You just gotta watch, just watch, just watch your diet in general. So Veruca Salt, I thought that was a pretty good one. We have a few more here. What else we have? Oh, it's Pretzel Day! Pretzel Day! Someone, someone's got it. Stanley's got to get his pretzel for Pretzel Day. It's Pretzel Day. They get free pretzels on Pretzel Day. This was a great underrated episode of The Office. I love that one. <gasps> Speaking of pretzels. Oh. What's your favorite pretzel flavoring? I always went for the Parmesan garlic. That was like my go-to. If I was like at an Aunt Anne's pretzels, that's the one that I would grab. I like that one. You like the cinnamon sugar? See, if I wanted cinnamon sugar, I always went to the Cinnabon that was usually right next to the Aunt's. <laughs> you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be like, I'll get slammed. I got my Parmesan garlic, and what will I wash it down with? A Cinnabon. <laughs> I'll be right back. I would definitely go for the normal salted. Oh, are, are you are you a mustard fan? Do you do pretzel with mustard? Basic salted pretzel over here. Wolf Maximus, how are you? Good morning, my friend. You like the basic salt? No, no mustard? Oh, I love mustard. Mustard on pretzels and mustard on hot dogs. No mustard. No mustard. Are you doing cheese? Are you, put, are you not putting anything on it? Ketchup only on your pretzels? Daisy. On your pretzels? No, you're not taking that back. Everybody, I'm going to let the world know. Daisy Daisy eats their soft pretzels with ketchup. Uh, wait, there are more than just plain, plain unsalted pretzels? Oh my god, Dark Side, there's a whole world of flavors out there. Actually, there's like three, I think, when it comes to pretzels. Salted cinnamon sugar, Parmesan garlic. I think that's the entire, I think that's the entire spectrum. The movie theater I go to serve a pretzel that is the size of a large pizza. I need to go to that movie theater. Don't put anything on mine. Some Tabasco. Ooh, hot sauce. That would be good. Like some Frank's Red Hot. I've never thought about that. That's pretty genius. But I do like the cinnamon sugar too. I won't say no to a cinnamon sugar pretzel. Oh, you forgot ketchup pretzels. Erdenshire. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Bacon. It's emergency bacon stash. I love Parks and Recreation. I love this series. I love I love the character Jerry so much. I love that he's like the most wholesome person ever in the world. And everybody just collectively craps on him. It's such a good... Uh, I love that so much. I love that comedy setup. I like the frozen cheese-filled pretzels. Always so fresh. I'm talking about like the soft pretzel ones that you buy at the grocery store and put them in the oven. Oh, here's the quarantine dream. How many people have found themselves in this situation in the last two months? That's how, that's how you eat your chips. <laughs> While you're also binge watching Grey's Anatomy. And here's the last one of the day. These gifts are reminding me that it's lunchtime. Are you gonna get some McDonald's French fries? <laughs> that's how you eat them, people. That's the only that's the only acceptable way to eat your McDonald's French fries. That's beautiful, beautiful right there. I mean, sounds tasty, but no, not today. You dip them in frosty or chocolate shake? I totally would. I totally would. Well, there we are, people. That is our week for salty. So next next episode, which might be later this week, or I might just do two next week, is gonna be spicy. So make sure you send me gifts of spicy and put them in the Discord. Send them to me as a private message so I can throw them together and put them into a slideshow like you just saw there. And also a reminder to please send me footage of your pet. Send me like a 30 second clip, send it to Darkseid in the Discord, like a 20 to 30 second clip of your pet so that he can include it in the intro for next month. But thank you, thank you, thank you guys for being here. I love having you here. It was a nice, fun conversation this morning, what we had. It was fun seeing all of you people here. If you want to know when I'm live, if you're new and you want to know when I'm going live again, make sure you hit that follow button. There are past episodes of the show on YouTube. And uh, we have the Discord and Twitter. And uh, Tipsy's been doing a lot of TikToks. If you're on TikTok, look up at Tipsy Roo. They're at tipsy.ru. It should pop up. Um, he's been growing a lot in the last two days. He's gone up like 4,000 followers. It's pretty ridiculous. So check that out. 
Give him a follow. Did you get your old account back? Nope, the old account did not come back. So he started a new one. And that one is that one actually has been doing a lot better than the old one anyway. Yeah. It's it's tipsy dot rue. I lost tipsy rue. <laughs> that one got banned for multiple guidelines, community guideline violations or something. So I had to start a new one. And that one is tipsy dot rue. But uh it has a lot. I didn't I didn't do it. Built from the ground. So the first time he did one, the first time, what, what was Tipsy doing? Bang, man, I don't know. I don't know. But the first time it took him like two months to get 5,000 followers. This time it took him two and a half weeks. So I've been doing a lot better with the second account. So we're going to keep doing that one. It's too, too good. So check it out. If you, guys haven't, if you guys haven't checked out TikTok yet, if you guys haven't reached that point of quarantine, you're missing out on a lot of funny stuff. So I'd say uh, check it out. And if you do, check out Tipsy Rue because it's good stuff. But uh, I will see you guys uh, next time. Keep your eyes peeled on the, the Twitter for the question of the day. And uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Thank you guys for being here. I love seeing your faces. You're all wonderful people. Respect the drip, people. <laughs> Respect the drip. I love you guys. Wonderful, wonderful time. I will see you guys next time. Thank you to the support of my executive producers, Adjective Beaver, who was here this morning, Licho, Lo-Fi, Mama Ru, and Nigellan for being awesome people and helping me out on Patreon at the highest level. So thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you, thank you. Here's some other amazing people who helped me out on Patreon. If you like the shows that I do here on this channel and want to help me, support me as a content creator, for $5 a month, you can you can help produce the shows that you see on here, including Hello and Good Morning, Tuesday Night Gaming, Sunday Funday Monday, and Stroking Together with Tipsy Ross. And you will get your name in the credits, just like these awesome people here. High five, Tuba! <sighs> Come on, meet me halfway. Okay, never mind. Also, thank you to my moderators, Daisy Days, who was here this morning, Licho Calvos, who was here, Rusty Panda, who was here, Doofy, who was here, Zaya Tawa, for being awesome people and keeping the, the stream safe in front of your eyes and behind your eyes, and my creative team, Darkside and Sleek Mouse, who were both here this morning for making it look really good. I mean, look how sexy I look. It's due to them, not me. And if you want to get a puppet, check out thepuppetforge.com. Mr. Gordon Smooter will set you up with a puppet. He has ones that he builds himself, or he can build you a custom puppet. He has a lot of great stuff. It's what we use here on the show and, and in the TikToks. If you look at TikTok, it's a different style of puppetry, and those puppets are also supplied by Mr. Gordon Smooter. So check out thepuppetforge.com. And last but not least, thank you guys for watching. You're awesome people, and I'll see you next time. Okay, I'm done.